Que rollo con el pollo, my Jared Seekers. Welcome back to a new video. So we're going to be doing for today's vlog, guys. We're going to be go be picking up a new part, interior part, for my new uh, Silverado, the new show truck. You guys already know, so far we added a badass new cluster, a badass stereo as well. So, so far, so good. The interior is coming along very, very well. What we're going to be picking up today is we're going to be picking up a new center console. So basically, guys, I'm going to be getting rid of my middle seat. As you guys know, I have a folding seat. So uh, I put it down and then it's an armrest with the cup holders. I put it up and it's a seat, but we're going to be getting uh, rid of that completely. I think I'm going to be recycling that folding chair and I'm going to be throwing it in um, on the SS. Kind of like I did to my white daily truck. I don't know if you guys remember. If you guys are OGs, you do. And we're going to be adding a center console. It looks super nice. I think um, they come out off the LTZs. Um, maybe the Denali's. I'm not too sure about them. And the reason why I'm doing this is just because for luxury, like I told you guys, I want the interior to look very like show truck worthy. Um, to look very nice and that see i think it's not helping it doesn't really look that nice so yeah guys we're basically gonna be adding a, a nice center console and we're gonna be turning the truck into a two-seater so i'm just gonna have a driver and a passenger seat i'm gonna give you guys five seconds to take a guess what do you guys think i found the part one two three four five Yes, you guys are correct. I actually found it on OfferUp. You guys already know I am the freaking OfferUp king. The bad thing about this guy, it's actually worth $600. And I try to offer a little bit lower. You guys already know me just taking my shot. But I always get turned down, even by the ladies. But you guys already know, no pasa nada, guys. No se me agüite, no pasa nada. I tried to offer less, but this time it didn't work. My boy is actually super firm on the price. But you know what? These parts are kind of hard and rare to come across. I'm not saying that you can't find it because then people start attacking me that, no, this, this, they have it here, they have it here, you know? I'm just saying they're rare. At least to me, they are. I've been looking for it since I bought the truck, but I haven't been able to find it till right now. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and pay top dollar for that. That's not a problem. I'm actually going to be paying $550 for it. But like I said, um, luxury, it's show-wise, you know, so I think it's going to fit perfect. But yeah, guys, it's located in the city of Corona, California. So enough talking, and let's go pick it up. Let's go check it out, and then let's go see if we bring it on. If we do bring it, then we'll start installing it right away. So check it out, guys. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, just in case if you guys are confused. So this is what I'm talking about. This middle seat right here, this is a middle seat. We're going to be getting rid of that. As I was saying earlier, it folds down. It's like a little storage right here. And then this is the cup holder armrest. I mean, it looks very nice, I'm not gonna lie. But I just want something more luxury because of the cluster and then the new uh, stereo. So we're gonna be adding like a center console that's gonna cover up even this step as well. So it's just gonna cover it up. It's just gonna be a two seater. So that's what we're gonna be doing if you guys were just confused and wondering. And then right after that, that should be it on the interior parts. That should be it, no more interior parts. But besides that, I don't know if you guys are probably wondering like, yo, what's up with the seats so they're all dirty, your carpet, you know? This is gonna be getting custom interior by my boy Backyard. So we're gonna leave a deposit real soon. And then we're gonna be choosing a color. I still don't know exactly what color I'm gonna be going. So I can't tell you guys. But basically, I'm just gonna be wrapping, I think, just the seats. Um, I don't really wanna wrap the dash and all that stuff because it's honestly nice already. It's just black. It's dirty, but hello, the metal, you can clean it up, you know? I don't mind the black because it looks nice. Just like the gray parts, like for example, that stuff. The seats, that part, uh, new belts, as well as the ceiling. Um, yes, we're going to be adding a sunroof very, very soon. And all these parts, we're going to be painting them. We don't know exactly what color. Other than that, that should be it. You know what, guys? Actually, I lied. That's not the only parts. There's one more piece in here as well that we're going to be doing to the interior. Let's see if I can open this. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. It's already, you guys already know who this is. Easy clusters all the way from Texas. Those are, that's the badass, that's the badass company that actually sent me the cluster. If you guys are wondering, like, I heard that name, I heard that name. Yeah, I just made a video on it um, a while ago. Not a while ago, I mean barely, but... Damn, my boy wants to make sure that... Wants to make sure that it arrives and that it doesn't get stolen. I think you know it's a good company. They're securing the package. Extra good. Check it out, what's in here? He doesn't really... What could it be? What could it be? Come on, making me struggle. Check it out. More stickers, guys. I still haven't gave them out, all the ones that I have. There was a couple of you guys telling me that you guys wanted some. If you guys do want one, make sure you guys contact me on my Instagram, Jerry Tweak, and just give me your information. I'm sending these out for free to you guys, whoever would like one. Thank you, Easy Clusters. Check it out, guys. Today, it's actually not another cluster. It's actually this one. It's a stand wheel. You guys can already you guys can already see. It's a nice, beautiful stand wheel. Check it out. And maybe you guys are you guys are probably wondering why why what's up? Like what's the difference on the stand wheel? Let me explain to you guys exactly what this is for. So check it out, guys. When I actually installed the cluster, 
Um, many of you guys noticed and many of you guys didn't notice. This truck actually didn't come with the buttons right here. And the reason why this sucks is because for the new cluster, check it out. Every time a message pops up, I can't, I can't do nothing about it because it's telling me to click OK or to dismiss. And there's no buttons here to dismiss the code. See, it says park assist system. I'm supposed to push dismiss with the button right here, but it doesn't have it. And then later it'll switch to another code. Now it says front camera dismiss, but I, like I said, I don't have the button. So when my boy Easy Cluster sent me this cluster, he actually didn't know that my truck um, didn't have the buttons. He actually thought that I had the one one that had the buttons and I actually didn't know. It didn't click to my head that I was gonna need the buttons because for some reason I thought I had like the Watton or something. That's what the Watton was on the last cluster. But like I'm telling you guys, that's not a problem. My boy hooked it up and this is actually a really nice, I think it's off of the Denali, like I said. And this is beautiful leather. This one isn't. And this one has the buttons right here. So these are the buttons that we need. So these stay the same. And then this is just the button that I used to dismiss. So we're going to be installing this pretty soon as well. This airbag is the same. That's a good thing. And yeah, and then soon we'll be able to work this more. And then I'll show you guys um, more of the cluster as well in the videos. Yeah. But enough talking. Let's go pick up the part already. So check it out, guys. We're meeting up. What up, bro? Yeah. Badass, bro. Thanks. Oh, that How low is this? Super low. Beautiful. You don't have one of those in there? Yeah. Well, you can check it out. Let's see how it looks. Can I record for my YouTube channel? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So check it out, guys. That's an idea of how it's going to look. But he has a high country seats and stuff. And his, his is all matching, you know? But that's badass. Sick. The only thing I don't really like is this right here, but you can get wrapped, don't know? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can get it wrapped. How does this one go? Oh, it's, oh, it's long ways like that. Huh? Then this ties into the side on, on the thing. Okay. You gotta remove the bottom piece of yours. There's a little plastic. You gotta remove that and just touch the inside. Oh, and oh okay. Oh, you gotta take it out? Yeah, it snaps in there. Oh, yeah, it's the thing. The thing that has uh, the coin holder, no? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Is it heavy? No. That was sweet. You know if it's too hard to get it wired up or no? Is yours wired up? Well, it's wired up. It plugs in. Oh, right it in. plugs in? Yeah. Oh, but okay. the only thing that's not going to work is your charger. Okay. Esta madre, it doesn't, doesn't work. Just that? Yeah, but these, you can just plug it into the harness that's already in there. That, and then this for that. And then your USB ports, they go right in here. Okay. So it's all just plug and play. The only thing that's it's not gonna, this is not going to charge. That's all. That's cool. Yeah. All right, then. Thank you, man. Right, Appreciate man. it. No problem. You got it. En California yo vendí cos, pero es estrella ya no vio los. Check it out, this is what we have so far. Passenger seat is off, and the driver's seat is off as well. To be honest, I don't know if I had to take them off or not, but I just did it just so I have more uh, working space. And this was super easy. Check it out, it was just two of these. A little star key. I know the rug's a little bit dirty. I'm going to give it a quick little cleanup in a bit. But check it out. These are the only screws that you need. Uh, there's four, two on each side, and those are 15s. 
y por Tijuana me regresé en la carreta llegué hasta el sur comisionado para trabajar en Guatemala me fui a rifar cambiar el dólar por el que sal y unos encargos para matar en Costa Rica les comprobé que soy un topo para escarbar saco el reparto pan comercial porque con suerte pan ya no hay color moreno trae en la piel al que agradezco y cuento con él Check it out, my Jerry Tuckers, la neta, la neta, la neta, la neta. I do not have a vacuum. Te lo vamos a dar así con la pinche escoba. ¿Cómo de que no se puede? Check it out, check it out, ahí va. Aunque tiene un chingo de pelos. I can all. We just need the middle for now. I'll clean the I'll clean the rest after we install the center. We got a little rag right here para dar una limpiecita. I don't know if you guys noticed, but ahorita I was installing the, the little thingy majigger. I forget what it's called. Oh, it's where you where you put your coins and stuff. Uh, this doesn't really matter if you clean it or not because se va a quedar abajo. But for the same reason, I'm cleaning it because se va a quedar abajo, you know. So I just don't want, I don't want, uh, I don't want it to be all dirty right under it. I should have just drove to the car wash, but I'm too lazy. It don't really matter though because eventually, when I get my interior, when I get my interior done, I'm gonna be changing out the whole carpet. So this is just temporary, you know. Now it is time to bring in the new center console. Un día me dijo, no hay pan comer, pero salimos del pozo aquel. I'm a Jerry Tinker, so we're all finished. Check it out. This is how it looks. If you guys ask me if it's perfect, it looks very luxury. The only thing that I do not like, to be honest, is this little wood piece. I think it's made like to look more luxury, but I do not like it. But that's not a problem because I don't know if you guys ever saw the video where I painted my parents' uh, trims like this, uh, this gray part, uh, this, this piece right here and a couple of door handles and stuff like that. I'm gonna be doing this to this truck as well. So we're gonna be color matching all the trims to a certain color. I just don't know what color yet, but check out this color, guys. I think the black looks perfect because it matches with the dash and stuff. And even this looks super, super nice. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think the seats would look uh, nice. Wrap just that black. The interior would just look black. 
I mean, I don't really like to do black because sometimes it just looks stock and I like it to look aftermarket. I like it to have a nice color that pops out. But I'm kind of digging the all black look. So let me know what you guys think. These seats have to go ASAP because look at them. They're all stained and they're just super, super nasty and it just throws off the whole truck. But there it is, guys. Everything fit on just like perfect. Like I said, the screen right here goes perfect with this setup because it looks super luxury. The only sad part is this does not work because you have to do custom wiring and I don't want to deal with it. This is actually to charge your phone. But check it out right here. There's a lot of space. Carry a little 38 Super, una 45. I like this chrome around here. This is two cup holders and then there's more space down here. And the good thing, guys, that all these plugs actually do work because these do get plugged in back here. This one doesn't because it has to hook up under the seat. It's a whole wiring harness. But these actually do work. These are the same, uh, these are the same wiring harness. So we could just hook these up, plug and play. And here, guys, I actually, I actually ended up doing some custom work. I don't know if you guys see that. So I don't know if you guys remember when I got my Tesla screen, they actually left me two cables hanging and they were actually in the coin holder department. And some of you guys were telling me, yo, they did some dirty work, this and that. But I actually did not care because look, because this is the actual thing that, that went behind there. It's two USB ports. What I ended up doing, I actually ended up running those two wires that come from straight from the stereo ones for the USBs to look at videos on here. And one is for the Apple, the Apple CarPlay. And I ended up making it work. So those two cables are hidden out and they just run into here. So it just looks super, super nice. That's pretty badass. I just did this myself. There it is, guys. I'm going to show you guys real quick from the driver's side, and that's going to be it. So this is the driver's side right here. Check it out. Same thing as well. I'm telling you guys, these seats are super, super nasty stained. That's how I got them from the dealership. That's not too much of a problem. We're just going to rewrap them. But this is how it looks from this side. Again, it looks super, super nice. And then check out the cluster as well. It just fits perfect. So let me know what you guys think, guys. All right, my Jerry Tinker, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I know, I know my shirt looks super, super small. My boy Static hooked me up with the wrong size, but it's all good, so we get to flex our muscles. Check it out. Now, but all jokes aside, that's gonna be it for today's video, my Jerry Tinkers. Don't forget to like, comment down below what you guys think about the new center console. If you're new to my channel, become a Jerry Tinker today by subscribing. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.